Well, just 11 days to go until the total solar eclipse on April 8th and people all across the Miami Valley are getting ready for this historic event. With hundreds of thousands of people expected to come to the Dayton area, city leaders say they're preparing for the worst case scenario in hopes that they are over prepared. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in Dayton with a look at what the city is doing to get ready. Allison. Good morning, uh, uh, Lauren, Caleb. City officials are saying that there could be around a million people who either are coming to visit here in Dayton or just driving through the area on the day of the solar eclipse. And that could cause some delays in traffic, traffic backups as well, as well as slowing down some emergency response times and also impacting our cell phone communication. Now, during a yesterday's Dayton City Commission meeting, the city leaders took a look at the 2017 eclipse to see if they could learn something as we head into this year's eclipse on April 8th. Now, back in 2017, Nashville experienced a 34 mile backup in, around, in and around I-75. And Salem, Oregon, which is a similar size to Dayton, experienced a 13 hour backup on their major roadways. So city officials say they want to be prepared in case something similar happens around here. They're anticipating traffic impacts to both highways and side streets. So all departments are working together to handle the event. Fire and police, they'll be placed strategically in quadrants in an effort to shorten response time to emergencies. Dayton police will limit their patrol activities to those only those high priority calls and Dayton Public Works. They're suspending their operations, including trash pickup for the day and Dayton's three rec centers will be open to host viewing parties. City of Dayton is planning to welcome an unprecedented number of visitors to the greater Dayton region for this once in a lifetime event. All city departments are working cooperatively to ensure a safe event for residents and visitors. City staff will be tracking resources so that we, where eligible, can submit for a state grant funding um, from the governor's funds to help offset some of the costs for the eclipse. Now, state agencies are helping the city in other ways, too. ODOT will be placing some message boards to warn travelers of backups to encourage taking alternate routes. And the Ohio EMA will be helping out the city to help with communications and updates throughout the day.